talking about Batman number 77. And we're going to have a nice little conversation about this book right now. Now, when I did weekly picks, this is one of my picks, mostly because I love the cover A on Batman 77 with Gotham Girl or New Robin, or whatever you want to call her. Love that cover on there. Clayton Crane did the B cover, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. So I actually enjoyed the cover A better on this, which is kind of different for me. A lot of times I side with the cover Bs. And I've... The beginning of this Bane, Tom King run, I was kind of like, man, I don't had a hard time kind of following it, but it's gotten better. And then, of course, news started breaking, which, spoiler alert, right? We're going to talk about it. Um, right, yeah. I think they want to hear it, yeah. but and I think they know anyway. Yeah. I mean, everyone's kind of knowing the pictures going everywhere, but we see what looks to be like Alfred getting his neck snapped by Bane. But, uh. All right, this is one of the books that I was able to read today. I love this issue because Damien's just a badass in it. I mean, he's going up there. He's pretty much telling, you know, uh, Flashpoint Batman, I'm here to kick your ass. But then he gets taken hostage. He loses the battle and gets taken hostage, right? And they, next thing you know, he kind of comes to and then Bane snaps out Alfred's neck. And then he's like, now we have you as a hostage. That's even better, right? But what? I don't see Alfred dying is causing this book to sell for twenty dollars. Um, we're seeing sets for what forty dollars. Uh, it's just crazy all over a dead butler. And I don't know. You what, know, what do you ahead, think? Brian. I'm just gonna uh, say, what do you think? You know, I don't like this book. Yeah. Now, again, did I enjoy reading it? Absolutely. I'm one of the few that I'm a huge Tom King fan. Um, I think I get affected by the fact that I met Tom King when he was like just getting into comics. He everybody talks about his Mr. Miracle run. Everybody talks about um, Vision. Vision. What I love is Grayson. Yeah, I, I I love that series. I think that series is ready made for a movie. If DC wanted to do an Elseworlds movie, that would give them say a version of 007. I would love to see Tom King write a great a Grayson movie. I just I'm a big fan. Of that. I'm also a big fan of Tom King, the guy. I mean, you're talking about an ex CIA operative. Like the dude is legit, um, and it's kind of cool the way he's ascended in comics. And I've liked his Batman run. I know a lot of people haven't, but I also think you got art play itself out, and they rushed him at the end. So you are, people are always going to judge it kind of incorrectly. I've enjoyed this Bane storyline. I agree with you about cover A. I think Thomas Wayne has been a kick-ass Batman. I, I've enjoyed getting the the Flashpoint Batman. I think Gotham Girl as his sidekick gives a lot of speculation. Uh, obviously, we talked about Batman 75 for the long-term play of the week a couple months back. Um, Clayton Crane has a lot of fans, but I agree with you. This is not my favorite Clayton Crane cover. Um, so I tend to side more with cover A, but... But then let's get to, like, the main event. Can I just say the the Clayton Crane cover B to me looks almost like a Lego Batman cover. You know what? I would have never thought that, but I see that. I see that with you saying it. It's almost too smooth, right? Yeah. Like, Batman's a little more scruff and gruff. Yeah, where the cover A, to me, like, the art is gorgeous. I mean, I like Tony S. Daniel, but to me it also resembles almost like those David Finch covers that we're used to seeing with Batman also. The posing, the arts, the line art. Um, yeah, the cover A, I was definitely drawn to that. Plus, if last month's Del Otto cover he doesn't do anything, yeah. nothing will do anything. That Del Otto cover uh, for, what was it, 76? Yeah. I mean, that thing went so under the radar. I, we had that on the list, right? Yeah. I got that thing in hand. Oh, my God. That's I, I, it was like, I almost put sent you a picture. Like, Brian, did you get this book? Like, this is the most out-of-bounds awesome Batman cover I think I might have bought in years. Um, it did nothing. So, you know, I, I, if that didn't do anything, I wouldn't think this is. Yeah. And then again, I like cover A for the speculation back with Gotham Girl. I think um, it, you have a better chance for that to pop. But that's not what anybody cares about, right? do they, Brian? No, Dead it, Butler. Yeah, it's all about the Dead Butler. Who um, I could see them killing him off. He's old. You, know, you keep it real, right? He's been around for a while. It's a little odd since his TV show just debuted on Epics. So you got to ask yourself, is that something they would really want to do? But you know what? It's not even about that. First off, let's say he's dead. 
Brian and I are speculators who have been talking speculation online with CBSI for like, I feel like I say the same year total, but I, I mean, I could even be off by a couple of years, but like eight years, right, Brian? Yeah. And we have seen death issues rampantly. Um, it's a go-to kind of, um, it's a shocking thing that tends to sell issues, right? And especially these deaths that happen at the end of books, um, because it makes readers want to read that next book. Um, rarely, if ever, can you name me any death issue ever that has stood the test of time as a major key? Um, you know, I mean, Gwen Stacy, maybe, but then spider Gwen almost hurts that. Um, it's certainly a major key within like readers of Spider-Man, but I would argue that more people talk about Spider Gwen than talk about the death of Gwen Stacy. I would say maybe the Crisis on Infinite Earth books, but obviously they undid those. Yeah. I, they still get sold though, like that death of Barry Allen. And I, I'll also say this is way off topic, but Bolo on that death of Barry Allen, Crisis of Infinite Earths book, because there's a solid chance that that book's going to get popular with the upcoming Crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, I imagine Stephen Amell and Green Arrow is going to take the place of um, of Barry in that situation, but I, I still think that that book has a chance of heating up. But we're talking about Alfred here. Um, you know what book this really reminds me of, Brian? Splinter? I don't know. You, you know what? That's a good one. That's a good one because that's another fake-out death. Batman 40 from the oh. New 52. We've talked about that on this channel, right? Yeah. Because... At the time, one of the most influential people, pro- no, the most influential person in CBSI, got the spoilers for Batman 40 and put them out there, right? And we were all jumping on that book. Me, I was a little newer in the game at that time. Had a little money in my pocket. So I said, man, you know what I'm going to do? 100 copies. <laughs> Cover price. You know I'm what I mean? I'm going to put my kids' kids through school. Right, and just like this book, they were selling for $20 when they came out. But you know what I learned? You can't sell 100 books before the market crashes. And I don't care how popular this is, the market's going to crash because we're already seeing it. Those prices you mentioned, if you look right now, I'm seeing $13 and $18 sales already. It's already starting to drop. And that's just due to the fact that Batman is not Dead End Kids. It's not the love she offered. Everybody orders Batman. I don't care where you are in the country. Your LCS ordered Batman. Um, So it wasn't crazy to get your hands on. It was a little tougher to get your hands on, maybe because your store limited one per customer. We heard a lot of that. Because it was a $25 book, the night before release, once spoilers got out, um, a lot of uh, spec websites and things like that put that that image out. You know, LCSs tend to get these books on Tuesdays, so that it's po- you know it's possible for that stuff to leak out on Tuesday, and it it does happen, and it it causes a rush into the LCS. But in Batman Forty, if you didn't read the New Fifty Two run, you believed in that issue that the Joker had died. Not only that, you thought it was possible Bruce Wayne did. And we all kind of were like, this is going to change Batman mythos. And what is going to happen? Well, now we know there's three Jokers. <laughs> and nothing that happened in that issue stuck. And it was all just a tease lead into the next issue. They came out with three printings of that book before the next issue came and undid everything that Batman 40 had done. Um and to this day, I probably still have 65 to 70 copies of that book. No bullshit. Um, I still like the mask variant. There's a Joker mask homage va- cover. I still like that as like a, maybe a book that'll rebound one day, um, especially with the mask coming back from Dark Horse Comics. Um, but I learned my lesson there. So yeah, would I grab these at the shelf for cover price and flip them? Um, for the 25, yeah, I would do that like in a heartbeat. But I mean, literally a heartbeat. If you have this book, 
we get those posts. Brian, you and I were talking about this earlier today. We get those posts on Facebook. Oh, is this a, a, a buy, hold, or sell? This is not a, a hold. It's a read. <laughs> yeah. Definitely read it, but then flip that sucker on eBay right now while you can get your money for it. Yeah. Even Bleeding Cool put out an article saying this is a four dollar book not a 25 dollar book so you know and I, I have almost zero respect for them as a speculation news source um and you know it just i understand and i love our new followers our new viewers our new subscribers brian and i have talked about this since you know we really teamed up on this channel the new people are being misled quite often they're not getting um they're not getting the information that they need. They're getting kind of pushed in certain directions. And look, could Brian and I be wrong about this? It's possible. You know, it's possible Alfred's dead for good. And it's possible, I guess, that this is some key important thing. But it's highly unlikely. It's highly unlikely this is more than an $8 book at most a month from now. Right. So – you know, with that being said, as Brian likes to say, I, I would say exercise extreme caution. Please avoid FOMO. Don't go spend the, the crazy money that apparently some people are doing for this book. Um, you know, it, this book is out there. You can find this book. There's probably going to be 100,000 of this book printed. And regardless of that, I agree with what Brian said about Alfred. He's a butler. It's going to be just a – if he's dead, it's a tool to do something to Damien, to make Damien maybe more like the way Batman lost his father. Um, and because, again, we're talking about a future storyline, we can still go back into the comics and, and see Alfred in the comics. We can still see um, – you know, this could be undone. Brian, you mentioned uh, to me when we were originally talking about this. You know, who's to say Damien wasn't drugged? Yeah. Who's to say it wasn't a dream? Um, we don't know any of those things. And here's the other thing. Alfred in Batman Beyond is like a computer program. So it's not like he really ever goes anywhere. So that hurts the ability for this to be any sort of final death that brings any money. So if you got him, flip him. Or, you know, hold your reader copy, uh, put it with your Batman run. But do not expect this to be an investable book long term. Let us know in the comments. Of course, I know you will if you utterly disagree with us. But I assume you guys come here, unless you're hate watching, um, you come here to get Brad and I's advice as two speculation OGs. And that's our advice. Is this, this book is one to be careful for. This is the book that worries me the most for you new speculators. Yeah, and I heard in the last panel that Nova shows up, so there's that. <laughs> yeah, see, and another reason why you got to watch out, you new guys, uh, don't jump on every everything you hear and every alert you see because sometimes a joke is a joke. Yeah. But yeah, Batman 77, it was still a great issue. I really enjoyed reading oh, it. Oh, yeah. But, um, this Again, this whole run, I feel like, this yeah. whole Bane storyline from 75, 76, 77 have been great. Yeah. They solicit it as, we'll change Batman as we know it forever, right? So, Right. I don't know if that has with Alfred being out. I don't know. But we're just going to move on. I think we've, we've talked about that enough. So we're going to go on to the...